Okay. My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody, Your Highness, and let us know what you're tuning in <laughs> Your Highness, that's a big introduction. I have to live up to that. Wow. Okay, well, I'll just go for it since you've laid it out. I'm Tasia Valenza, and I'm here in Los Angeles, and it's a delight to be with you, Vahid. Tasia's like fan Tasia, best way to think of it, be a fan of Tasia. Makes it easy. There yeah. you go. So here's, here's, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you some difficult questions. Difficult, Because okay. I know a lot of audiences out there, especially when it comes to self-development, yeah. are going to ask this. Yeah. There's a, there are a lot of people in different industries that are going through challenges and crisis, and frankly, they're stuck right now. Right. What are some of your recommendations based on your personal experience? Because you're... I mean, you've done so much. There's so, I mean, you're part of an app. You do voice. I mean, you do so much out there. I don't even know what to list. That's why I was going to let you highlight with your TED speaking, this, that on the stage. By the way, that video was kicking butt. I saw those pictures. It was awesome. I loved it. So, which, which one? The TED one? Really, yeah, TEDx. the TED one. TEDx, really right. Well, you know, the TEDx is a great place for me to start because um, my whole platform is to give great voice. And that comes from my 35 years of being an actress first, an on-camera actress, and then a voiceover actress. And my job for 35 beautiful years has to give great voice, to move and touch each other with our voices. And I've had the pleasure to make that my profession. And it's something that, you know, it's like uh, you wake up and you do something you love you're, you're, and you get paid for it. It's like, whoo, that's crazy. But... <laughs> The gift to give great voice means to be able to play not only my professional roles in my life, but my personal roles. And I started to understand that the same things that made me successful as an actress, to understand the four questions. Who am I in this scene? Who am I speaking to? What do I want? What is the success of this scene? And how does my voice support that intention? So I learned that every time I look at a script and I see the character breakdown. So she's a seductress or she's a mother or she's a CEO or she, what does she want? Well, she wants the job. She wants to uh, inspire her employees. She wants to kill Batman. I play Poison Ivy in the Arkham game so people might understand that one. And then understanding that in my life, I also play roles, just like you, Vahid, play as a role. Right now, you're a CEO of your company and you're an influencer, but you're probably a father and a husband and a friend and, a, and all the wonderful viewers out there are, are multifaceted, beautiful human beings. And maybe they want to go out and succeed in terms of getting the job, getting the promotion, getting the, um, the investment. This requires doing exactly what I do, taking words off the page, and breathing and speaking life into them. Because it's not well, always- TEDx, TEDx did it for me. Because right? when you said that, I think you were calling your husband. You yes. said honey or love, and then you said his name. And I was like, okay, there's a big difference here. Right, <laughs> like, well, what the joke <laughs> is, is that, and I think we can all relate. My husband knows exactly how I feel about him as soon as I've said his name. As soon as I've said his name, he's like, that either the hackles are up, ooh, or he's like, oh, she's happy. <laughs> so the idea is our intention matters. Our voice follows our intention. So my kids, I, I, I use the story, you know, that I'm very reactive. A lot of us are parents, especially when we're all together and it's like the, the tension's high. Um, you know, I can ask them to pick up their clothes for the 800th time in a certain way, reactively, like kids, pick up your clothes, you know? and they didn't have to see me to hear of that. And either I'm gonna get them to pick up the clothes, but they'll resent me. Or I can just think consciously, okay, who am I? I'm the mother, I love, what's my intention? I love my kids, I'd like to have a good relationship with them. Uh, how does my voice support the intention of getting them to pick up their clothes? Kids, can you pick up your clothes when you have a chance? I mean, it's something that we're just, some of us do really well, but many of us, we don't even think about it. We're just living in reaction all the time. But especially if we're gonna go play the courageous, confident candidate, which I mentioned, the courageous, confident candidate. And because I've played superheroes and villainesses, again, I like to make it fun. It's like a voiceover actor. To give great voice is to think like a voiceover actor in your own life so you can play your professional and personal roles more successfully. Yeah, so regardless of how my wife calls me, I still go do whatever she says. <laughs> I don't know how it is in your household, but in my household, it don't matter. 
Uh, you do it. But, doing. but. You better, you better but, go yes. to it. But wouldn't you, but don't you appreciate it when she asks you kindly or with a, I mean, it, you might do it, but then you, every time you build a little resentment, every time you build again, even with your employees, you can get your employees to do stuff, but do they like you? Do they trust you? Do they believe in you? Can you, I mean, to inspire trust is one of the number one things you can ever give to somebody. There's a study about people thinking that they have confidence or trust and when, when you're really lucky and you're a superstar, you have both, confidence and trust. But which one do you think is more important to have, confidence or trust? I, if I had to pick without the study, I would say the trust. Correct. Because the confident, um, they had all these interns. They worked for a summer. The ones that identified themselves as confident, at the end of the summer when they were expecting their jobs, they didn't get the offer. Why is that? Because they didn't ever express vulnerability. They never socialized. They didn't joke around and have some fun. They didn't, they didn't express something that makes them want to be worked with. In other words, you can teach somebody that you trust some of the, 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 the skills that they need. But if you, if, you, if you don't trust them and they're just confident, you might not want to work with them. People want to work with people they like. And so again, when I'm speaking to you right now, what is my intention? My intention is to express some warmth, engage with you. If I said to you, Vahid, I'm really excited to be here. So excited. And I have so much to share. Maybe I should be doing the opposite. I'm way too excited all the time. So I need to, it's so funny. We're doing a course. We're, we're about to unveil it on law of success. One Great. Of the oh, way. I love Napoleon Hill. Yeah, so we were talking about that, and then we came to the chapter of enthusiasm. Yes. And unanimously, it was like, he was going to do that chapter. I'm like, ah. why do I got to get the hard ones? Like, you know, she give me something else. They're like, no, 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 that's what you're going to do. So I was like, I'm flattered, but, you know, maybe but I should. You have a natural that. enthusiasm, which is wonderful. And Napoleon Hill said that. It's more important to have enthusiasm, because I've listened to him. Enthusiasm. Well, you must practice. I mean, he was talking about giving great voice. When you speak to somebody and generate that enthusiasm because that is something you might need to practice. Well, you don't need to practice it. I don't need to practice it. But maybe somebody who doesn't understand, again, what's my intention? You know, enthusiasm means I'm interested. I'm vital. You're interesting. I'm, I'm engaged with you. I want to be here. That's the intention, the voice. The words are the same. The words are the same. The words, I love you, can mean... I love you. It can also mean take out the garbage or I hate your guts, right? It's really, it's, it's so much of what the tone, right? When we pick up the tone. And I so, think tonality I is everything. It when is. you make a phone call to somebody, oh. they can't see you over the phone, but they could feel your smile. That's right. They could feel your aggression. They could feel your tone. Are you happy? Are you sad? Now, they may not get it there the first second, but if you give it like, you know, 30 seconds of, of words being exchanged, they'll know what status you're in. Like Absolutely. You're in, like, I don't need to see you, but I'll know if you're happy about your life, yes. what's going on. So I think a lot of people don't, and it has nothing to do with sales. No. It, it, moms can do, and here's the crazy part. You know, I lie to my mom all the time. And, <laughs> you do? You know, Does I, she know I, that? <laughs> <laughs> she knows that, and here's the crazy part. Like, she calls me, she's like, did you eat the food? I'm like, yeah, mom, it was so good. She's like, you're lying to me. I'm like, how the, how the, how the hell? Because we know, you know, we know that? tone, tone, you know? remarkable. So tone she does it, like she especially. called me. It was my wife's birthday and she called me. She always checks it. Did you get her a gift? I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. I wrapped it. It was amazing. She's like, you're lying. Come to the house. I got a gift prepared. I'm like, how the hell do you know this shit? She's like, from your tone, I, I know. I, I give birth to you in this. I know who you are. You, I know what's up. Yes. Come pick up this gift for yes. your wife. I'm like, God damn, how does she know? And it's all based on, and listen, I'm 39 years old. I've been trying to make my lie actually be a lie right. for 39 years. Uh, I can't get by no. her. Like because, it, because we know, we know, we know, we know. know. Yes, she of course I don't care. My, my kids can't pull anything. My husband can't pull anything. I always said, that's the BS tone. I don't need to look at him. I know it. But the point is, if we understand this skill, then we can land our message in the way we intend it. 
In other words, we don't necessarily have to manipulate, but we really do have to know, is my voice supporting my intention? And if not, what can I do to change that? And I teach it from a very novel perspective in a fun, humorous, joyous way. And again, you know, the, at the essence, what it means to give great voice is to move and touch each other. And regarding the fact that we can't physically do that right now, <laughs> it's more important than ever that we know this skill, that we understand that through a Zoom call, we have less physicality, we have less ability to gauge what's happening and, and to take all that information. And we need to use our voice. Yes, uh, the, thank you for that. The, uh, Florida, Pete, oh, it's Pete, my friend. How tone, my, uh, one of my wonderful friends, Pete, who's on the line, took that message and used it in a skill. He, he was doing live um, uh, videos on, on uh, 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 what was it, Twitter, you know, with the, um, when you're doing periscoping. And he's amazing. And he was doing these beautiful sunsets. But he wasn't getting, he didn't feel like he was engaging with the audience. So he listened to my meditations on my app, which is, again, something I offer. Which we need to talk about, which we need to talk about. Yes, and he started imitating and using that same tonality. And, and I'm, I'm giving you such a prop. His, his periscopes are beautiful. But he literally took exactly what Give Great Voice is. He understood his intention had to match this beautiful sunrise. And so he did. And now... He has thousands of viewers. So applause for Pete. Keep doing these beautiful periscopes. If you want to see him, he's on Twitter, Florida Pete. Um, so and, talk to us about the app. Yes. Well, I, again, how we give great voice to ourselves. That starts there. Because so many of us will tear ourselves down in a second before we'll build ourselves up. So I was co-founder of a beautiful affirmation meditation app. It's completely free. It's for all your viewers. And it's literally something that they can not only try to think positive thoughts, but the act of saying it, the act of in a relaxed, comfortable, breathing, relaxed state and saying, I love myself, I believe in myself, over and over again, is basically, I call it a software update. Because we have all these old computer programs that we're running off of, 30, 40 year old programs, and a lot of it's negative. And so the Affirmation Meditation app is a tool it's a be kind to your mind app. And it's the same thing again that Napoleon Hill would say, your mindset is everything. But how do we change our mindsets? I offer a tool. It happens to be aligned with what it means to give great voice. Because whatever we say after I am or I have consistently tells our future. I agree with that 100%. What you, so what so you what do we want to tell, you right? And what do you think about? Not only what you think about, but what you say. What you say. Do I say I am beautiful, I am powerful, I am amazing? People think that's cocky, it's arrogant. No. It's, yeah. if, you, if you can do it and feel it again, and the more you do it in a relaxed state. I mean, you can, I call it, I call it the confidence coach. I am amazing, I love myself. And then the compassionate companion. And, and as, as Pete says, I am the master of my mind. And that's what I say in the app. I am the master of my mind. I am the master of my heart. I am the master of my body. I am the master of my life. And from there, when you have filled yourself up, then you go out and you give great voice from a much fuller place. It's much harder to come from like, okay, I hate myself, I hate myself. Hello, right? But if you say, I love myself, I'm powerful, I have abundant, then it's like, and you're abundant too. I'm delighted to be working with you. I have so much to offer and I'm excited for what you have to offer. That energy, that frequency, we, we, we feel off of that, right? We, we, we love people more. We, 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 our energy rises 10 or we get sucked down dry, right? Those vampires that we know about. We, and, so anyway, the, the, again, give great voices holistic. First, we give it to ourselves and the app, uh, you know, and I'm all about writing personal affirmations. I, you know, immersing yourself. I call it speaking the language of self-love, which is foreign to many people. Right. And we can't learn a language in our head. You can't learn Arabic in your head, Chinese in your head. You have to say it aloud. So I love myself. Okay, that feels really uncomfortable. <sighs> I am willing to love myself. Hmm. I love myself. I love myself. I am worthy. You know, and it's like what, 10 days later, you do the app 10 minutes a day. It's like anything. You, get, you build muscles. If you want to go to the gym and you're like, I'm getting to that gym. I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> that was, I gotta get my thing off of, uh... 
Uh, no, 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 you're uh, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, cool. Good. So that made it. So here's my question. If there's an entrepreneur... The, mind, it's the concept is you have to do it. Yeah. Exactly. Repetition of the right materials will make perfect. So here's my question. If you have... Last question. If yes. you have to recommend somebody on the entrepreneurship path, what are one or two things that helped you the most to get the success to where you're at? And furthermore, what are some of the tips that you could kind of attribute to your success so far? Well, again, you know, understanding how to communicate your message is so powerful. And the digital world is important, but the ability to verbally communicate and have the emotional intelligence um, is going to further your goals and to write your goals and to say your goals. These these mindsets, you know, understanding that we can hack our minds like never before because of the science. So it's all about um, building small steps because people get overwhelmed when you say like, you have to change everything. So I just started building new habits, using apps to build new habits. I mean, I myself, so now I'm waking up and there's a little buzzer reminds me, drink water first thing. So I drink water instead of going to my phone, which is my normal thing, drink the water first. Then the next step I'm leading, write 10 things I'm grateful for, which tells my mind not to focus on the news and things that make me anxious, to program my mind for success. I'm allowing myself to hack myself because I'm a, I'm a human and, I'm, and I'm, I make mistakes as well. So I'm thinking, especially right now where there's so much anxiety, I need to hack my brain, I need to turn. So the water and the gratitude, those are the first two things I do. So I'm allowing myself to build better habits. When you build one on top of the other on top of the other, all of a sudden you're succeeding. And it's okay to two steps back and one step forward. You mess up, we all mess up. What happens then? What do we do? Again, the compassionate companion. Wow, okay. That was a learning opportunity. Not like I'm an idiot, I'm a loser, I'll never win. It's all about the programming. And when we program for success, and then we give a great voice, we think about the four questions. Who am I in the scene of my life? Who am I speaking to? What do I want? And how does my voice support Literally. that intention? Just that person. Okay. Can you hear me? So as long as you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you, but I'm waiting for the picture to come back. You're cool. I mean, it hasn't come back yeah, yet, but it's cool. So that's your, so how, tell us, how do people find you? I, I can see you now. Hear me? How do people find you? Yes. So, so I teach these wonderful steps. Yes, they, they can find me at Tasia, at TasiaValenza.com or Give Great Voice. I teach workshops. I'm going to do my first webinar. But if they can to give great voice, watch the TEDx night for success, they're going to be un Thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this, this morning, this afternoon. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more Please. videos with you. Thank you. And definitely stay safe. We need to I do more love videos. It. Pleasure. Thank you.